This video demonstrates endovascular repair of a contained rupture that resulted from social line dehiscence of an aortobiliac bypass graft in an 88 year old female. She presented to us four years ago prior to her current admission with complaints of abdominal pain. At that time she was found to have aneurysmal degeneration of her thoracoabdominal aorta. This aneurysmal degeneration extended from her descending thoracic aorta to the visceral segment. Prior to her admission with abdominal pain, she had a history of type B aortic dissection with thrombosis of infrarenal aorta. This was treated with an endovascular repair of descending thoracic aorta along with right axillary to bilateral common femoral artery bypass and also a right nephrectomy. This is her CT scan from four years prior that demonstrates an endovascular repair of her descending thoracic aorta for aneurysmal disease. It also demonstrates a 9 cm thoracoabdominal aortic aneurysm that extends just distal to her prior aortic repair to the visceral aortic segment as shown on this CT scan. Also demonstrated on this CT scan is a patent left renal artery and an occluded infrarenal Iota. Shown here is the axillary artery bypass to the bilateral common femoral arteries. Also demonstrated on this CT scan is the reconstitution of the infrarenal abdominal iota just above the bifurcation of the aorta into the iliac arteries. Four years prior, she was taken to the operating room and had an aortic endartrectomy performed at the level of the renals, followed by an aorto iliac graft extending from the infrarenal aorta to the bilateral common iliac arteries using a 22 by 12 millimeter bifurcated graft. She also had a retrograde ilio SMA bypass using a 8 millimeter Dacron graft. This bypass came off the left limb of the aorto iliac graft. She also had transposition of the left renal artery onto the limb of the bypass graft to the superior mesenteric artery. For her thoracoabdominal aortic aneurysm, she had her relining of the aorta with two overlapping stent grafts extending from the previously stented descending thoracic aorta into the aorto iliac graft. On her current admission, she presented with abdominal and severe back pain. A CT chest abdomen and pelvis perform showed a contained rupture. This rupture measured roughly 10 cm in size as shown on this CT scan. This was thought to be related to the suture line dehiscence of the iotobiliac bypass graft. Also visualized on this CT scan was an occluded infected axillary femoral bypass. Decision was made to perform an endovascular repair of this contained rupture and after gaining access to the superficial femoral artery, a pectal catheter was introduced and abdominal aortogram with runoff was then performed. Demonstrated here is the active extravasation resulting into a contained rupture along with a patent left ilio SMA bypass also demonstrated is a patent transposed left renal artery onto the bypass limb to the SMA. Next, a super stiff wire was introduced in the descending thoracic aorta 
followed by introduction of a 28mm Navion stand graph. The distal aspect of this stand graph was just distal to the previously paced endograph into the iota by iliac graft. This stand graph was then deployed and a repeat angiogram was then performed that still showed active extravasation just distal to the stand graft. We then brought in another 28mm Navion stand graft and deployed it just distal to the previously placed Navion stand graft making sure not to cover the origin of the bypass to the SMA from the left iliac limb. A completion angiogram is then performed that showed no evidence of active extravasation or contained rupture and a patent left helio SMA bypass and a patent transposed left renal artery onto this bypass. This concludes our video demonstration of repair of contained rupture of iotobiotic bypass graft.